Well, I am going to thank the, uh, the gentleman from California for yielding back, and Madam Chairman, thank you. And as we continue to uh, do things the proper way, first of all, I want to thank all of you for being here. I come from the private industry also. And, uh, and there is an old adage that is out there, uh, and it goes something like this, don't worry about the mule, just load the wagon. And I think we are at a point where the mule is about ready to walk away from the harness himself. And it is really great that we are concerned about clean air, and we are concerned about clean water, and we are concerned about the health of our workers. And I would suggest this, that is not just one party is concerned. All of us are concerned about that. It is the cumulative effect of all these regulations that keep building and building and building to where it is going to break. Now, I am uh, somewhat of, a, of an athlete, not a great one, but one sport that always interested me was golf. And what interests me about golf is a guy like me who is a lousy golfer can beat a guy who is really good. It is called a handicap. Now, we have continued to handicap you, and now I am part of this government, to handicap you and handicap you and handicap you, so I think you are about ready to walk away from the harness. But in particular, first of all, Mr. Mr. Kamnikar, thanks for being here. In, in, in the district, you know, we have so many people in the business, and, and I want to congratulate you on becoming the president of, of the organization. But the effect of these cumulative regulations, if you could just walk us through, because a lot of us have never signed the front half of a check and have absolutely no idea that the unintended consequences of all these costs, if you could, just kind of walk us through, for example, something like ITAR and how difficult it makes it for somebody who makes roll bearings to go through that type of regulation and the cost involved, because at the end of the day, it is the cost that concerns me and our ability to, to compete in the global market. We have handicapped ourselves to the point where we are forfeiting the ability to, to, to compete, if you could, sir. Excuse me. Um if I could just interrupt, the, the House rules are requiring that we uh, adjourn this meeting. However, if you would like to take 30 seconds to answer Mr. Kelly's question, and then we will adjourn. I, I, it is difficult to answer. Uh, I would simply say this, that I think this is true of everybody on the panel. We have done a lot to get to where we are today, and uh, the uncertainty, the possibility of further regulation is what we are most concerned about. Sure. And, and my, I go back to my point about competing with the Chinese and Indians. It, it will take them a very long time to get where we are today. And, but while they continue to operate, they have a very big advantage over us. We will take our chances against them, but let us not regulate us even more.